So it has been a little while since I sat down and filmed a video and this feels pretty weird. It feels like old school for some reason. It feels like I've gone back in time to when I used to sit down and make videos all the time. Although that was actually just last week. It's just been a very busy week so the videos you've been seeing have been pre-filmed videos. Um, and I've got another really busy week this week so, so I thought I'd sit down film a little video and this is actually a requested video that I had never thought of filming but it's actually really a great idea for a video. I can't remember who requested it but I'm sure you'll know who you are um, and the video is about not comparing yourself to others. This is a video that seems very relevant for my channel. People that suffer with anxiety I feel like suffer with um, comparing themselves to others more than the average person it's very easy to do so if you're kind of stuck in your house and you're unable to leave or if you're having to leave parties earlier or not being able to go to parties it's obviously quite easy to compare yourself to others and wish that you could do the things that they do and wish that you could do whatever you wanted to do in the kind of free way that they seem to do um, and I think everybody's guilty of doing that I definitely am um, although I've gotten a lot better recently at not comparing myself to other people because there's just no point. Um, and I have thought up five kind of different ways in which I've found it a little bit easier to stop comparing myself to other people. So I will talk you through them. The first one would be to understand where you are and why. Where are you in life? Are you working? Are you not working? What is it that's making you upset? What is it that's making you feel like you want to compare yourself to others? And understand why you're in that place. For example, I know that I'm in a place where I can't travel, I can't go out with my friends to do the things that I'd maybe want to do. Um, I kind of, a lot recently, have been under realising that I'm not as independent as I'd like to be. Um, and it's kind of like understanding the reasons for that, and that is that I have a mental health illness, which makes things more difficult for me, and that is the position I'm in. It's something that I can't help. I wish I didn't have mental health illness, but that's just the way that it is at the moment and I'm doing all I can to try and overcome that and to try and um, get better, but it's obviously not as easy as that. I've had a mental illness for 10 years and it's not something I can just uh, click my fingers for it to go away, although I'm doing lots of steps to try and get there. Um, and so I understand where I am in life and that really helps and it really helps see what other people have and understand that your position in life is different from theirs and it's just the way that it is and um, it doesn't mean that they don't have things they're really struggling with too and it doesn't mean that their life's perfect at all it just means you've got different lives because you've got different families different parents different upbringings all that kind of stuff everybody's very different uh, secondly try to write down all the things that you're comparing yourself with others to that was a psh, that wasn't good English but try and, if you're kind of noticing yourself, comparing yourself to others, if you're on social media or in real life or whatever and you're kind of being like, oh I really wish that I could do that or I can't believe that they can do that and I can't do it or whatever your kind of comparisons are, try and write them down. So if you're seeing all your friends go on holiday and you're really jealous or really upset or feel left out, write down that how you're exactly you're feeling. And it's a lot easier to be able to read back and understand more what your actual thoughts and things are understand why you you can't do it, understand why you're being left out um, and then you've just got a clear image in your head of how you're actually feeling. It makes it a lot easier to deal with, it makes it a lot easier to think rationally about. If you see all your thoughts on paper, you can kind of think rationally about it a bit more and be like, okay, I understand where that's going, I understand why I feel like that now. It makes more sense. Thirdly, be kind to yourself and grateful for what you do have. Um, it's really important for you to stop, just stop for a minute and just be and just be chilled because it's so exhausting constantly constantly wishing you had something you didn't have it's really just awful it's just really difficult to um, constantly have that in your head and constantly be thinking about ways that other people are and ways that you're not it is very important to be grateful for what you have but also grateful for who you are I wouldn't change having anxiety now and um, it's taught me so much and it's taught me to be a very very brave and strong person although anxiety has made my life extremely challenging I think it's made me more empathetic it's made me um, have more passions and desires it's made me have to work a bit harder for what other people take for granted um, 
and I wouldn't change that anymore. Although there's parts of it that I'd maybe like to be less, it's given me so much strength and so much bravery to be able to just get up every day and I wouldn't change that now because it's who I am and it's a massive part of my life and it's obviously done some good because I'm happy with who I am um, and that's another big part of this is trying to be happy with who you are. Although there might not be things that you can do at the moment or there might be you might not have the money to do or whatever your comparisons are, there are tough times but you need to really work on who you are and you need to really be grateful for everything you have. If you're watching this video, you are somebody that has internet for example, you're somebody that probably has a laptop or a phone um, and shelter and food and water and these things are all things that other people don't have and you're very you should definitely not feel guilty for that and you should definitely um, not feel like you don't have the right to complain because you do. If you're feeling a certain way then that's the way you're feeling and nobody can take that away from you and it's completely valid to feel that way. To bring everything back and to understand where you are and what you have is a very very good way of trying to kind of see the bigger picture. Next I have to understand and focus on your own goals. A lot of the time when we're comparing ourselves to other people, it's not actually our goals. It's things that they have strived towards, it's things that they want to do. And it's actually, a lot of the time, things that we maybe don't even want to do, or don't have any desire to do. Um, I This summer I've kind of seen all my friends go on holiday, I've seen my parents plan holidays, I've seen everybody around me travelling and doing all these fun summer things that I'd thought I really wanted to do. Um, and then I actually thought about it and I thought about like booking flights and I thought about all that stuff and I was like if I didn't have anxiety I don't know if I'd be even that fussed about going to Spain or to France or to wherever. I think I am the kind of person that's quite happy doing what I'm doing now and um, I have a great life and I, I work, I go to college, I have lots of amazing friends and um, I live in a beautiful city. I'm very grateful and very happy with where I am now and I don't feel the need to travel, it's just that I'm seeing all these pictures of people travelling and hearing all these stories and it's making me jealous and it's making me feel left out and pretty shit that I can't do it, but in actual fact I don't think I'd really be that fussed about going anyway, so kind of analysing your own goals, what do you want to do and focus on them, don't think about what other people want to do, don't think about what they're achieving, what do you want to achieve, where do you want to be, what career do you want, do you want to have a family, all these things it's easy to get kind of sucked in with social media and with comparing yourself to other people but zone it back in on yourself what do you want and understand that and try and strive towards that lastly I have that know what you're comparing yourself with often isn't actually the full picture a lot of people portray their best selves not only on social media but also in real life if you ask somebody how they are they will tell you the highlights of their week of their month of their career whatever it is nobody's going to go into the really horrible parts that they were crying last saturday night by themselves nobody's going to go into the kind of really difficult things that they've not been able to talk about and um, although i talk very openly about my mental health i've learned through doing this i've learned through youtube that a lot of people have these insecurities or a lot of people have um severe anxiety or severe depression but they just don't feel able to talk about it. A lot of people aren't going to talk about what they are really struggling with and so you're actually comparing yourself with a picture that isn't true. Somebody has just bought a house but actually they're really really struggling with um, their career and they don't actually want to be in that career. There's so many different people that have so many different problems and there isn't one person on this planet who is completely uh, struggle free and that's completely just 100% um, okay with everything in life. So although you're struggling with whatever you're struggling with right now and although you'd like to be somewhere else, um, understand that that's not just completely 100% achievable and easy um, and even if you get to the place you really want to be there will still be struggles and so being happy with where you are is the best thing you can possibly do and although it's a lot easier said than done I hope these kind of tips might help you out a little bit um, and I hope that you get to where you want to be and you're happy with who you are right 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 now and um, without the things that you want without the big expensive house or without the um, millions and millions of friends that you think other people have or without whatever it is that you really want it's not always as amazing as it looks so that is it for this video and um, it's felt really weird to sit down and film today I don't know why I think it's just that it's just been a while and it feels kind of weird so I hope that this video came across the way I wanted it to um, and thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon